Hello, I'm Delaney again. I'm from Omaha South High School. Roar. Um, I will be saying, uh, performing my poem, How Much Honey Do I Want? Honey is an extraordinary edible substance, an everlasting sweetness made by fuzzy little dots with stripes and stingers. Although I like honey, it was never sweet to me. It was always such a bitter taste. It always coats my throat as if I am allergic. But that bitterness, that unusual desire to consume honey even though it always bites back, stinging like, like it's bees. It's so peculiar how honey and bees are so different. Bees drop within short days and honey drops forever. Both such a small portion of life but gives life themselves. I grew this fascination from my grandfather. He would always tell the same story when I was just a young child. I would sit on his lap, listening carefully about honey and bees. No matter how many times I have heard it, it was always so fascinating. How bees have short lives and how honey lives forever. He'd tell the story about the hundred-year-old honey, about when it was found it didn't look or seem spoiled. And once it was tasted, there was no sign or trace of it being rotten. Honey never rots. Honey lives until the bees don't. It's peculiar how honey is made. Hexagons amongst hexagons filled with pollen and bee saliva. And then a small but penetrating stinger stirs the hexagon until it becomes honey. I do get anxious when I see a beehive, a frightening beauty a workshop for the givers of living. I always wonder when those hives fall. I've ripped a hive before, watching the honey drip from the comb, feeling how the agitated bees sting me. It was a frightening, but surprisingly riveting feeling, an adrenaline rush. I've ripped combs a few more times after that, never fully destroying the hive, but eager to see what would happen. I hope for the day I build up the courage to fully demolish a hive, rip the last comb until the honey stops dripping and starts falling, watching all of the bees falling with, left without stingers.